Well, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome and hello. My name is Michael Lubb. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Career Readiness. Uh, this is a great event. It's our second annual uh, Seniors to Success event where we uh, provide opportunities for our students, either seniors or recent graduates, to connect with employers looking um, to fill positions that are of high need, high demand in this region. Uh, we we uh, do want to thank some team members here who've done a, a wonderful job at uh, logistically planning this and scheduling and working with all of our partners here today. And that's Dana Carmouche, one of our senior managers here, along with uh, Melanie Heron, uh, Elnora Talbert, Lisa Harris, Echoes Blevins, and other team members here. It's been a, a total team effort. Um, but with that, there are a lot of logistics that go into planning events like this. So thank you all for your work. I also want to uh, thank the uh, employers who are here today. Um, I know you have a true desire to not just give back, but to look at our hiring talent that are uh, homegrown talent here from the Houston region. So thank you so much for partnering with HIC and actually and thank you Texas Workforce Solutions uh, for providing this opportunity to partner and, and connect um, young adults and youth with employment opportunities. With that, I do want to um, uh, introduce our Chief of Strategy and Innovation, uh, Dr. Rick Cruz, who has been a huge supporter and, and leader and, and, and true believer in providing opportunities to students for college and career success. Um, he's been with HIC now 13 years. It's hard to imagine how time's flown by so quickly. Um, but in those 13 years has done amazing work and, and provide us with a great platform to expand um, career rents across not just Houston, but the region um, as a whole. So with that, uh, Dr. Rick Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Love. I really appreciate the kind introduction. I want to start off by uh, Thanking uh, Mr. Love, uh, our fearless leader uh, who spearheads our post-secondary readiness efforts, our career readiness efforts, and is just an incredible job alongside his team in shaping opportunities for students. I also want to thank, thank the broader CTE team for their help in making today's event possible. This is a really exciting event and of course uh, would not be possible without the many partners who are here today. So we have students, we're very, very excited that this year we have students participating, not just from HISD, but from Deer Park ISD. 31 HISD high schools are participating in addition to the Deer Park ISD students. We're expecting over 600 students to participate today in this live event, which is, which is awesome. And again, this is only made possible because of our partners. And we wanna thank the 29 plus industry business partners, the CT Advisory Board and Texas Workforce Solutions, for really believing in our students and providing them with opportunities to prepare for the workforce, get the experience they need to be successful in the workforce, and of course, gain some money that'll uh, definitely go a long way. So I wanna thank you all for being here today. I wanna thank the students for taking the time and showing the interest in expanding opportunities in your future. You are the reason we're all here today, and we're very uh, excited about this. We're very proud of you all, and we're here to support you any way we can. Thank you all so much. And thank you, Dr. Cruz, for those great words of encouragement. Uh, again, I want to reiterate, though, uh, this is really for the students. This is for all of you. Um, commend you for the uh, the drive and desire to to work, well, seek employment um, with one of the wonderful companies and corporations uh, represented here today. But also, it showcases, I think, um, your intention of really giving back, not just to your families and yourself, but also to the community in Houston at large. Um, I, 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 I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that. I know we had to reschedule this event. I'm glad, I'm hoping that everyone's made it out unscathed uh, and recovering from the cold storm we had here uh, uh, just last week. To some of us, it seems like it was a long time ago. To others, it seems like it was just yesterday. So I'm hoping everyone's uh, either recovered or, or on the path to recovery with that. Um, and like I said, I, I did want to shout out to our, our director of CT program, Angelita Mora who's done a wonderful job leading us um, these last few years, especially uh, as far as the innovation when it comes to providing opportunities to our students at large across this region. And like Dr. Cruz alluded to, not just here in HIC, but also other districts like Deer Park ISD, so welcome. Um, with that, we have a jam-packed agenda, so I don't want to hold up too much of your time. Um, again, we have some wonderful companies here who will be providing information out uh, to all of you as far as recent graduates or student or some of our seniors who will be graduating soon. I'm hoping you finish this year off strong. Uh, we expect that of all of you, and representing our district, yourself, your families. So consider that too. And not to mention, 
Um, that goes quite a distance when you think about employers and what they see for um, looking at hiring employees is a talent pool of those who are driven and driven to complete not just start a project, but also complete it. So that also means finishing off the senior year strong. So with that, I'm going to kick it off to uh, Ms. Carmouche, who did a wonderful job at planning. Thanks so much, Dana. This is a great agenda. Um, and I know it's going to be a great event. So thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Love. I appreciate it. None of this is possible without all of the hard work from everybody on our team. Um, Mr. Love, as stated already, is a, a great super, um, assistant superintendent. He leads career readiness and all of the initiatives, and he allows us to be able to do what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Ms. Julia Amara makes things happen. She's the, the nuts and the bolts that keeps us functioning. And we have an amazing team of colleagues that work behind the scenes that have worked tirelessly to make sure that we put on this event for you. So there are a couple of things. I want to go over a few housekeeping rules. So I'm going to um, kind of highlight the agenda, if you will, and discuss that information so you can kind of know what to expect throughout the course of the day. There's going to be a link dropped into the um, your Q&A, into your chat. So it's going to be a survey. So I'm going to ask that you complete this survey. If you are um, a participant and you're going to look at one of the event hiring partners or you want to connect with one of the hiring partners, I want to make sure that you at least answer the survey. We use this data to determine what the next initiatives are going to look like. And so with that being said, today's agenda is well packed. So we're going to start off with a scholarship opportunity. So those of you who are outside of HISD, this portion may not be pertinent to you at this point in time, but eventually it possibly could be. But for those of you who are HISD students, this is your opportunity. We want, to, we want to ensure that you have all of the information necessary so that you can make informed decisions moving forward. And immediately following that information, we're going to start with our session one for today. So the virtual hiring event will begin. We have some amazing partners that have joined us today to provide opportunities to each one of you. And so my ask, if you received the email from me earlier today, my ask to each one of you is to make sure that you engage, ask questions in the Q&A, find out all of the pertinent information that you need so that when this session is over, you can apply for the positions that most fit your needs and suit what you want to do in life. And so as they share all of the wonderful opportunities, have a pen and pad ready, make sure you take notes and make sure that you ask the questions. Again, we are manning the chat. So the partners will be able to see any questions that you have. And immediately following that, I'll come back on and share some other great opportunities. And so without further ado, I'm going to hand the baton over to Ms. Cruz Castellano, who is the director for the Marvie Finger Scholarship. Cruz, you're muted. Hi, seniors. I am Cruz Castellano, the finger, um, the director for the Finger Scholarship. I'm so excited to be here and to share our scholarship opportunity with each one of you. Even though this scholarship is for Houston ISD students, for those of you that are not part of Houston ISD, I still encourage you, if you know any seniors that are attending high schools at Houston ISD or friends, relatives, that you share this opportunity with them. So what is our scholarship about? We're interested in providing full scholarships to seniors who are wanting to pursue a career and technical pathway at a local two year college. Um, when we say full scholarship seniors, we're talking about um, including everything that you will need. So before we get there, what do you need to apply? You must be a US citizen or a legal permanent resident you must be low socioeconomic status. So if you're wondering, well, what does that mean? Um, that can mean that if you get free or reduced lunch or you know that your parents or your family doesn't have, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in a savings account um, to provide for your college education, then we are the right fit for you to be able to fund your post-secondary plans. You must also consider being in one of our career and technical programs at one of the local colleges at Houston Community College, San Jacinto College, Lone Star College. Um, and we have different programs. It could be maritime industry. It could be electricity, construction, the health science industry. So we have several opportunities for you to study after you graduate. 
Also, you must uh, complete your financial aid. Your SAR must be sub submitted when you apply. And you must have a minimum of a 2.0 GPA. So I'm hoping that offers uh, more students the opportunity to apply with that minimum 2.0 GPA. And if you're interested in health sciences, then it would be a 3.0 GPA. So what do our students need to know? As I mentioned before, that you want to attend some of our local area colleges. You want to study in one of the career and technical pathways. Earlier I said full scholarship. What does that entail? That means that we pay your tuition, we pay your textbooks, we pay the tools and equipment that you're going to need. So if you're studying welding or automotive, we cover those tools. For those of you pursuing health sciences, we pay for the uniforms and the scrubs and everything else that you would need to be successful in college. And most importantly, through our partnership with the Houston Food Bank, our students, our, our, our recipients, they actually win 60 pounds of food tw twice a month. And so that is so beneficial to students because you don't have to worry about, well, what am I gonna eat today? Or how are me and my family gonna get through? Um, so that, that's a very wonderful uh, opportunity and benefit of our scholarship. As far as our Finger Scholar profile, if you're wondering, I don't think a scholarship is for me, this is probably the scholarship just for you. If you're looking at, I want to hurry up and get credentialed so I could get a good paying job, a high paying job, we have 100% career placement, we have a close to a 90% graduation rate, and um, we have over 30 career and technical programs we have students that come from 44 of the Houston ISD high schools. And this year we're awarding 100 full scholarships. So you have more chances to actually win a scholarship this year with 100 full scholarships. This is our flyer. If you check, um, if you look for the Marvy Finger Family Foundation or the MFFscholarship.com website, you can find more information on our website. We also are accepting applications through you, the PDF format, paper format, and our online portal. And those links are also on our website. You can also email me at ccassiano at fingercompanies.com if you need more information. And for the first 10 students that apply and email me that they've completed their application, they will win a $20 Visa gift card. So make sure you take the opportunity to apply today. Our deadline is Monday, March 22nd. Thank you. And hi, my name is Alicia Berg. I work with Mortensen Construction. Uh, I work on the talent acquisition team as the Associate Talent Acquisition Specialist. And to let you know a little bit about Mortensen in general, uh, we're a pretty large company. Uh, we're based out of Minnesota, but we have projects all over the country. Uh, we are actually number one solar contractor, so we build a ton of solar projects all over the United States. And solar is just booming right now. Uh, the entire renewable energy industry is really um, high powered right now. So there's a ton of work in those industries and we actually do that as well. We build wind projects, we build stadiums, hospitals, data centers. We do um, aviation, civil work, energy storage, power delivery, all types of stuff. So there's a lot of opportunity within the company. Uh, the reason I'm here today is because we actually have a solar project located in Guy, Texas, and we are hiring um, all types of people for it, uh, laborers, heavy equipment operators, electrical apprentices, journeymen, and um, a lot of times we'll hire uh, very entry level uh, laborers and electrical helpers uh, to start out at the project. And just to go over why it's so great to work for Mortensen, uh, personally, I've worked for them for about five years and it's the best company I've ever worked for. 
Uh, it just has a great culture along with a lot of added benefits, um, such as a benefit package that does include medical, dental, paid time off, holiday pay, 401k, life insurance and employee assistance programs, paid training, and just opportunities for growth within your own career. Now, along with that, I did mention we're a number one solar contractor, but we're also awarded one of the top workplaces to work in, as well as the top ranked renewable energy contractor in wind and solar. So we've been founded since 1954, and it's a family owned company that leads the way in creating new sources of energy, generating awe through amazing fan experiences and developing spaces that foster innovation. Uh, we have a great culture within the company um, from the office to the field. It's very family orientated and it's really built on diverse talents and perspectives of our team members. It's um, when it says it's essential to the strength of the company, it's really understated. Uh, we really appreciate our team members and they get a chance to express their ideas and really grow in their own career. As far as qualifications and experience go, uh, you must be able to lift up to 50 pounds, walk up to 10 miles a day in different weather conditions. Uh, if you have solar experience or even just a passion for the industry, you're highly encouraged to apply. And if you have any outdoor labor experience, because as I mentioned, working in different weather conditions, uh, it usually comes with practice. Uh, it gets pretty hot in Texas, so uh, you got to make sure you're safe while you're working outdoors. And we teach a lot of that stuff too, but um, if you have heavy equipment experience, even if you've just worked a forklift in a warehouse, that kind of deal, uh, that is um, entry level and we can we can get you started and put you in the seat of something and see what you do. Uh, solar electrical experience. I know there's a lot of electrical apprentices out there, um, electrical helpers and people just interested in that industry. If you have that experience, um, whether that be residential or whatever, please, um, I encourage you to apply. Uh, you must be drug free. We do have drug tests on all of our projects. Uh, we, we do have background checks, but they're usually only customer uh, required. So at this project in particular in Guy, Texas, we do not have a background check. It's just simply a drug test when you arrive on your first day. Um, you must be dependable. I always tell people if you come to work every day with a positive attitude, you're on the path for success. You got to be willing to listen and learn and just come to work every day and show your best. Uh, if you have any safety and or construction certificates, licenses or apprenticeships, um, of course that is preferred, but if you don't have any of those, don't be discouraged. Please still um, feel free to apply and, and we can evaluate your skill sets and experience and kind of go from there. Um, you can apply at our website www.mortensen.com careers and you can search by location or um, or uh, skill set as well on there and you can always upload your resume to your application profile or you can email it directly to me and uh, I will provide my contact information as well. So once you've applied, uh, a lot of people are like, what do I do now? Do I just sit around and wait or what's the deal? So uh, there are steps in the process. Uh, once you've applied, our recruitment staff does evaluate or go through and review our applicants and look over your applications, uh, your qualifications, work history, skill sets, all of that. Um, if determined, uh, we qualify you for a position at the solar project, uh, we contact you by email to schedule an interview. Uh, we also contact by text as well. We have a text recruit method that we use too. Uh, and interviews are now virtual, so they're hosted on a Zoom platform. Uh, it's pretty simple to understand, but if you have any problems with that, our recruitment team is happy to help you understand that and download that application. Uh, it is up to you to attend the scheduled interview. If you don't attend, we don't pursue you as a candidate. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of people that apply for these positions, so we, we just simply don't have time to track down everybody, unfortunately. So please make sure to attend your scheduled interview, and if you're not able to, email us and, and let us know so we can reschedule you. 
Um, if you complete and pass the interview process, your name goes on our list of candidates that we'd like to hire, and uh, we simply wait for manpower orders from our project teams. This project is about 487 megawatts. We are expected to hire about around 300 uh, team members out on the project, probably more. As time goes on, the project is expected to last over a year. Now, if you're not chosen at a, as a candidate, you do receive a rejection letter within 30 days. So you are aware of that. And um, if there is an available position for you, we contact you by phone and text message. As I had mentioned, we have that text to recruit method that we're able to contact people as well. Uh, if you accept the job, we email you with what you need to be prepared for your first day. We also make a phone call and go over these steps with you so you're aware of what to expect in your email box and what steps to take. And then once you complete your onboarding forms, um, they are all electronic, so they're all online. You can even do them on a smartphone um, and ensure that you have the required items for your first day of work, especially those two forms of required identification for the I-9. We are a federally contracted construction company, so we do require those um, identification requirements for your federal I-9. And um, you are encouraged to join the Mortensen team. Like I mentioned, there are a ton of opportunities within the company from um, not just in the field work, but also with engineering and everything, all of the above. And I can't stress enough what a great company it is to work for. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And um, Dana, hopefully um, somebody on the, on the, um, on the HSID uh, can send out my contact information to the um, to the students on this call, so that way you have my information and can contact me at any time. And thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting us. We're happy to be here. My name is Monica. I'm part of the talent acquisition team here for OTG management at George Bush Airport, and we are hiring. So with that said, your next opportunity is now boarding. Uh, what is OTG? We are part of a hospitality industry, pushing the boundaries and revolutionizing the part of hospitality. We have 10 um, airport, mostly on the East Coast, but we do have one here at George Bush Airport with almost 300 in terminal dining and retail locations. Um, why OTG, most people want to know is, um, again, it's where you can be able to discover endless opportunities and explore and grow within your career here with OTG. We have servers that have made it all the way up into a management position. Um, so we look forward to having you guys come on out, be a part of it, change the airport experience, and um, grow with us. So a little bit of the requirements and the qualities that we look for here at OTG is that you do have to be 18 years of age or older. You must be able to pass a background check along with TSA guidelines to have your serve safe and TABC certified card or be able to obtain that card. Um, be an outgoing personality, of course, and be able to, um, of course, provide that customer service and willing to grow um, and learn with OTG. So a little bit of how you can apply. So again, my name is Monica. I'm part of the talent acquisition team. My email is um, listed on here, but it's mmartinez at otgexp.com. You can find us at our website at otgexp.com slash careers. I did indicate a little bit of what that website will look like, and under location, you want to make sure that you're searching for Houston, Texas. Once you apply, definitely keep a lookout on your um, emails. That's how I like to communicate to invite you. We have weekly hiring events here in person. We're going to start opening up some maybe virtual, but we do have um, in-person interviews where we offer on the spot. So that's a great opportunity for you to know that you have a job once you leave. Um, great opportunity growth after your 60-day probation period. You're more than welcome to apply to anything in our company and grow within OTG. Some other benefits and perks is we offer medical, dental, vision, and 401k. 
there's a flexible but also steady work schedule where you're working four tens with three days off. Two of them are consecutive and one of them is a floating day off. So I look forward to having you guys hopefully apply and having you out at our next hiring event. Again, feel free to reach out to me by email and look out for our applications on Indeed, Workforce Solutions, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Thank you guys. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm filling in for Mr. Kevin McCloskey today. I wanted to make sure that you have this information on disability solutions and knowing what they bring to the table for this event for, that HISD is holding, hosting. So again, I'm, I'm standing in the seat for Kevin um, McCloskey. And this is Kevin's information. Whatever I'm getting ready to share with you guys, if anything, um, pertinent to that information is something that you need. Please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to him. This information as relative to the website, um, the Career Center and his contact information will be put into the Q&A. So you'll have that rel um, relative to what you need it for. So with that being said, let's take a look at who is Disability Solutions and what all do they offer? So Disability Solutions is a national nonprofit consulting practice. And so they're, they're working on not just persons with disability, but all job seekers. And they um, work with corporate leaders to leverage that level of engagement. They've been in business over 60 years, um, employing individuals with disability, including veterans and persons without disabilities. And so they cover the full gamut of opportunities to all persons. So here are some of the people that they have worked with in the greater Houston area. Some of them you may be familiar with. Some of the names may jump out to you in terms of those companies. Centerpoint Energy. Um, we just got done with the freeze, so we all know Centerpoint Energy quite well. Bank of America. You have PepsiCo. And so all of these, um, Bayer, all of these are companies that actually work in connection with disability solutions to provide opportunities. And so you can build a free, quick, and easy profile on their website. Again, that'll be dropped into the chat momentarily. Sign up for job alerts. So if you need to know what's coming down the pipe, what do they have going on, that's how you stay connected. You can access 1,000 of the job opportunities from other employers. Leverage the Career Center for Job Seeking Tips. All of this can be done directly once you set up the, um, an account with them or profile with them. You can add your resume um, to any anonymous job seeker database at any given time to learn more about career opportunities. And so that's something that you want to make sure you do. And they actually have free resources on their YouTube channel. So all of this information is accessible to you and they have some great opportunities that are available. And so I will make sure that you have Kevin's information if this is something you're interested in. If you are a veteran or if you are a person with disabilities and you're looking for these opportunities, again, this information will be shared to you immediately um, in the chat and you can go from there. And so Metro, uh, another great company to work for, another great opportunity um, for each one of you. I know some of you may have a Metro card, so you're very familiar with Metro and all that Metro has to offer. And so this is a great opportunity as well. Um, so with Metro, who is Metro? Who are we? Uh, so that's a great question to ask relative to who is Metro. And so Metro is a diverse company and they are hiring right now. So you can apply at ridemetro.org. Again, that's ridemetro.org or you can actually call in 713-739-4953 um, for additional information. Again, if you're looking, um, Metro is hiring right now and so you can apply at R I D E metro.org. And so look, let's look at some of um, the career opportunities are saying yes again. Or, so the question being answered, yes, they are hiring. But some of the career opportunities, and so you can look at some of the pathways that each of you has been in for quite some time. And so how do you begin to move in this dynamics? Computer programmers, those of you who are in IT pathways, this may be ideal for you. Network administrators, IT pathways, ideal for you. Accountants, I'm calling all of my students in the business, marketing, finances, those at Westside, those of you who are in accounting pathways, Barbara Jordan and other places, those are for you. 
attorneys, those of you who are in law and justice, so looking back down the road, this could always be an opportunity once you finish your day, JD. My engineers, those of you in STEM pathways, so keep this in the back of your mind as you pursue your four-year degree and become an engineer. This is always an option. HR staffing, those of you who are in a business marketing and finance pathway, you can go into this career immediately and still go to school afterwards to obtain a degree. Buyers and customer service, that's all my um, business marketing and finance pathways, my arts and AB for my advertising, real operations. I'm calling all of my TDNL pathways out. Executive assistance, that's my BMF, and so my marketing for sales, maintenance and safety personnel, trainers, and all of these air inspectors, all of these fall into a very um, diverse group of pathways that we offer here in HISD. So there's no reason for you not to take advantage of the opportunities that are before you. And so what are the benefits? Let's take a look at some of the benefits. They have a very competitive pay. They offer life insurance. Um, those things are important. You may not think they are important, but I can assure you they are important. As you get older, you want to make sure you partner with an organization that provides those opportunities. Medical, dental, and vision insurance, a retirement and savings plan. All of that um, is important. Educational assistance, paid vacations. Um, you know, you want to be able to have sick days in the event that you are sick and anything is going on. Those holidays, they have a wellness program and advanced opportunities. And so, again, free transportation on Metro to all employees and their spouses. All of that is relevant or relative to what you want to do. And so you have a three-day weekend off every other week, non-union. So bilingual incentives exist. Any of this that applies to you, then please take advantage. And, again, remember, um, to Ride Metro is where they're hiring. So here's the contact information again so that you can make sure that you know where to go if you're looking for anything that goes on the administ Metro Administrative Building information is there. Those of you who did pre-register for this event, I'm going to share my slide deck with you so you will have all of this information. If you did not pre-register for this event, I, you can contact me directly and I'll put my information inside of the Q&A as well and make sure you have that information. So again, this information is available to you. Okay, um, and so here we have Maximus, uh, another great opportunity to exist. Um, so I'm going to be filling in for Miss Stephanie. She wasn't able to, to join us on today. Uh, so let, let's take a look at uh, the diverse ability team of Max and this Seniors to Success 2.0 and understanding who they are. So the established conflict-free partner to government. So who is Maximus? They actually are a company that consults with the government. And so they deliver what we consider to be conflict-free services be it to all levels of government. You work with federal, state, and local government. Local being our local government here in the city of Houston, the mayors, your state, that's your governor. Your federal is obviously the federal. Those are your Congress and Senate and things of that nature. So you get to engage in that level. If, this company offers something that you think is beneficial to you. And they contribute to improving the outcomes for citizens and higher levels of productivity. They offer citizens a centric approach that enables people around the globe, so not just here, but people around the globe, to go ahead on and um, engage with the government. And so they have an independent public, they're an independent publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. So you can take a look at them. And so their annual revenue is 3.4 billion, which speaks to the stability of the company. And so those things become important when you're looking for a company. But now let's look at the experience that spurns the borders and the cultures. And so you can see the places that they have a footprint. They're in Australia and Canada. They're in Italy and Saudi Arabia. So if you're into a multicultural, what you have to be, you have to be global in this day and age that we live in. And so they're in Singapore and Sweden. They're in the UK and obviously they're in the USA. And so think of the opportunity that is presented to you with a very global company. That means you have an opportunity to travel abroad and be able to engage in different countries and see how things are done. Now let's look at the U.S. federal services. Again, Maximus helps agencies run programs effectively and efficiently. Who wouldn't want that? Um, and knowing what we know, looking at companies now, they ensure that citizens are, um, you know, connected relative to critical support services, and they focus on the outcome. Um, 
their key differences is the business process that they use and the program experience and the deep subject matter knowledge that they have and the certified the certification levels that are necessary all of that becomes paramount and important to the success of what you do with maximus and so when we're looking at the human services program that information that kind of tells who they are and what they do um, u.s services the human service program does they help the government transform public policy and the goals into tangible results they actually offer um, their focus is on the cost effective um, delivery um, portion of it and so the human services they have a skilled combination of people processes and technology extensive experience with operating um, their programs across the board. So the eligibility and the enrollment. So when we're talking about core services of what they have going on. Um, yeah, you know, Stephanie's from, able to join us. Okay, transition to Stephanie and please. Hi guys, thank you Dana. I was having issues logging in, but I'm in now. Um, hello everyone, my name is Stephanie Chu Javier. I'm from Maximus. I am the Senior Outreach Specialist and Recruitment um, here at Maximus. Uh, again, Dana had already introduced Maximus, thank you again. Um, so I'll just continue where she left off. So we uh, are a federal contracting company, so we serve federal, state, and local governments. Um, within that, we've got federal services, we have human services, and we have, have health services programs. Um, I'm sure some of you have already heard of some of these programs, but these are the ones that we do run. Uh, so we have CHIP, which is the Children's Health Insurance Program. We have Medicare. We have federal and state health insurance. Um, we also have enrollment. Uh, we got screening, disability assessments, you name it. We, we probably have assisted with it. Um, and as you can see, these are our key solutions here on the right. So we have enhanced eligibility verification. Uh, we dabble with health savings account management as well as Medicaid work requirements. Um, just for your information from last year, these were all of the projects that Maximus participated in. It was quite a few. Um, you can see on the federal side, we were doing CDC information. Uh, we also had the IRS. Um, for state health agencies, we did a lot of COVID relief efforts. That's in, that included the contact tracing centers in those six states. We also have COVID screening and scheduling centers that we are still working on. Um, and we also had the COVID information center in those two states that you see there. And then down in Texas, we had the pandemic EBT program. Um, for the state unemployment agencies, those were all of the states, I believe that's 12 states listed there, that we assisted with unemployment. Um, so currently right now we are hiring for a quality assurance coordinator, also known as the QA coordinator. Uh, we are looking for bilingual Spanish um, uh, candidates to fill this role. We have 12 openings. It is full time and it is remote work from home. Um, the only qualifications that we ask for is that you have your high school diploma and zero to two years of experience. Um, there are, the hours are flexible and of course that will be discussed with the recruiter during your interview. Um, so if you if you you know have something that you need to work on you know Monday in the morning then maybe we could place you on a schedule in the Monday afternoon to nighttime. So just um, just know that we are flexible with your schedule. Um, th this is the salary and logistics of the QA coordinator. It's $16.50 an hour. Uh, we are open Monday through Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And like I said, uh, you won't be working those full hours. There are different shifts within those hours. Um, it is full time. And again, it's uh, work from home. So we call it a BYOD or bring your own device. And if you're interested, I can certainly share the list of requirements uh, for you. Uh, referral process. So if you guys are interested in that QA coordinator role, please let me know. My email is listed there. Aside from the QA coordinator role, 
We also have an internship program and our internships uh, are, are usually paid. So it is uh, in the summer. So if you are also interested in any uh, internship programs, please email me and I can connect you with our colleagues who specifically work with our internship program. Thank you guys. Okay. So news you can use. Did you know this is our uh, pause or commercial, if you will, a break. So information that's going to be shared at this point is going to be upcoming events that are relevant and pertinent to uh, some things that are going on in the city of Houston and just information that you can take away from this event that is applicable immediately. So immediately you can start doing this. And so with that being said, I'm gonna turn it over to my colleague who has been assisting from behind the scenes, Ms. Elnor Calvert, to go ahead on and share some information. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to present this information to you. So we all know the city of Houston with uh, Mayor Turner for the past few years, um, they have been offering a higher Houston youth event for our students. And so what that is, is a summer jobs program. And so this year, even through all the things we've been through with the pandemic, they are still able to offer jobs this year for our students. And I'm super excited about it. This year, the uh, mayor is going to be offering summer jobs to up to 5,000 um, students ages 16 to 24. You do have to reside within the city um, of Houston uh, city limits. Um, you have to work uh, within the program between June 14th and August 5th. You also have to be able to work 32 hours per week. But what's great is it's $10 an hour. They have over 450 positions within the city, which is exciting because if you're interested in being a police officer or if you're interested in working, you know, at the um, fire uh, department or working at Parks and Recreation, there are so many different opportunities for you guys to join and kind of get your foot in the door with different opportunities. The great thing is with the Higher Houston Youth um, Opportunity is there's, it's twofold. So this opens March 15th, so it's the week of spring break. So make sure you put this on your calendar, you set a reminder in your phone. March 15th is when, is when it opens. So for the city of Houston, they have 450 positions. So when the application opens, you'll see there's gonna be another um, uh, uh, information on there for you to click on for uh, over several hundred positions with other companies throughout the city. So once you can click on that, if you are interested in working for the city, there will be several hundred other companies that you um, can actually apply for. And those actually can, will start before June 15th. So some of those may start in April and May. So if you know it's not uh, important for you to start work with the city, you can um, offer, there are other opportunities for you to work so one of the other things that's important is you have to have a valid ID and a social security card, okay, to, for either of these opportunities, whether it's with the city or whether it's with one of the other business uh, businesses that will be partnering with the city. So just keep that in mind, mark your dates, and make sure that you apply. All right, so the second company that I'm going to be introducing to you guys is called Discover You. So they are a nonprofit organization. They've been partnered with HISD now for a few years. Um, they're in over 40 of our campuses, uh, part, uh, ranging from elementary, middle, and high school. So basically, they connect youth with educational opportunities beyond the, the classroom. And so what they're doing is they are partnering with businesses, um, providing college and career preparation, leadership development opportunities, um, and study abroad opportunities. And so also during the week of spring break, which is March 15th, they are going to be hosting three different days. They're going to be bringing professionals on from different career, from different careers for you guys. So they're going to be having um, on the. Uh, can you go back? I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So for those three days, March 16th, 17th, and 18th, they're going to be having different, uh, like I said, professionals. So if you see this slide, it says, "Have you ever met a research manager, a workplace futurist, a facilities engineer?" chief product officer, a concept artist, or a neuroscientist. These are jobs you may not even know even existed. So for instance, on Tuesday, March 16th, Mr. Christopher Bishop, 
you know, he's going to be talking about how to succeed at jobs that don't even exist yet. If you want to talk to a neuroscientist on March 18th, Ms. Jancy, uh, Dr. Jancy McPhee, she's going to be presenting on passion versus paychecks. You know, you may have a passion uh, to be, you know, in an NFL or, um, you know, to be an NBA star, but you also may, you know, have to get a job that may not work out for you, where you may be good at computer science or with numbers that you can actually get a job and earn a paycheck, but then still be able to bring in your passions on the side. So make sure you check this out during this week. These are, you know, professionals that are taking the time to provide information to you guys, you know, about the educational experience that may be required, you know, how much it may cost to work in these different professions. So just like I said, with the city of Houston, mark your calendars. And it's open to any HISD student and any actually student who's here from other ISDs. So if you're interested, please make sure that you uh, will put the link in the chat for you to sign up and register. It's for everyone, invite your friends, your cousins. Um, it's like I said, the 16th from the 16th, 17th and 18th. It's gonna be from 1 to 2.30 PM. It is free. And there is a short online registration that only takes a couple minutes for you guys to uh, to sign up. We can't actually do the QR code here, but we can drop this link into the chat for you guys. And the great thing is that if you sign up uh, today, you will receive a, a T-shirt or earbuds or some type of free gift from them. So that's super exciting. So the next company that we're going to talk about today, guys, is Goodwill Industries of Houston. So I'm sure you've seen these stores around the city and you just think, oh, hey, it's just a store, but it's not. They offer so many different opportunities. They have resources that they provide, training opportunities, uh, career placement. So these, this is a company that can provide you a, a plethora of different resources. And so one of the things that they are going to be, some training that they are going to be offering us is the apartment maintenance position. So if you like working with your hands, if you are someone who likes fixing things, you know, making repairs, this is a great opportunity for you. This salary uh, ranges from $12 to $18 an hour. It's a free training that you can sign up for. Seats are limited. And what's awesome is this was actually ranked one of the most satisfying jobs in Forbes America. I mean, in Forbes magazine. So please take the opportunity. Um, I don't see a link on here, but you can actually Google uh, goodwillhouston.org and go on their website and actually look at their training opportunities. So if this is something that you are interested in, please take advantage of it. Cause we all know we just came out of a winter storm. You know, a lot of apartments have been destroyed. So this is that time and the opportunity where you can fill that gap and uh, provide so uh, resources and services to people in need. So a second opportunity, which is awesome. So Goodwill actually partnered with Google and with Coursera. And so what they're offering are IT positions, entry level IT positions. And so they'll, this is an opportunity for you to learn how to troubleshoot, how to um, learn networking, how to um, learn automation and security. And so with this opportunity, it's a short training but this is going to get your foot in the door in those IT spaces with those companies that not only with you completing the, the actual uh, training, but Goodwill is set up to actually place you within the different careers throughout the city of Houston. And finally, the city of Houston is all, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Goodwill is also going to be working with different positions uh, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, surround certified production technician. So if you like to use different technologies where you are setting up, testing, um, and adjusting manufacturing and machinery equipment, this is something that you may want to, to do. You know, if that's something, uh, if that's not uh, something you want to do, they're also offering certified logistics and associate um, technician training. And so that's basically where they are preparing you um, for that frontline material handling and supply chain and logistics jobs. So if you want to work in a fulfillment center or a warehouse or um, a distribution center like Amazon, these are great opportunities for you to take these trainings so you can be set up to start making uh, you know, money from $10 up to $25 an hour. 
They're also offering NCCER electrical tech training as well as NCCER core construction training. So basically that's you're learning the basic safeties um, in these craft areas. You're learning, uh, you know, how to start being an electrician. Um, and also with the NCCR core, that's opening doors for you to get into different trades. So please take this opportunity to and, and mark your calendars. As we put things in the chat, make sure you're taking pictures. Um, for those of you who pre-registered, you'll be getting this slide deck. If you didn't take pictures with your own phone and reach out to these individuals who are here to support you, who are here to really try to help you guys start a career uh, right, you know, after you graduate from high school. And thank you. I appreciate you guys' time. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I was hoping Richard was able to join us, but he didn't. He's having a little technical difficulty as well getting in. So I will go ahead on and share some information, Workforce Solutions. So if any of you have ever engaged in Workforce Solutions, you know um, what that is. So these are the career education specialists who work with Workforce Solutions, and they are able to provide some amazing opportunities and support should you ever need it. Ms. Solaria Washington, Mr. Richard Prather, and Ms. Aurelia Johnson. So that is your go-to group here in the greater Houston area. And I think um, they cover some outlying school districts as well. So don't, it's not limited just to HISD. So take advantage of these career educational specialists and the information they share. And so looking at all of the opportunities that are available to you, it doesn't matter what career choice you have. I know we offer a plethora of pathways or programs of study here in Houston Independent School District, as well as other school districts around the city. And so this is helping to prepare and ensure that we have a consistent and a thriving and a growing workforce and allow the workforce solution to be a part of that journey with you or that process. So no matter where you find yourself, this is a go to resource to allow you to be able to do the things that you enjoy doing. So jobs, a job versus a career, making sure that you understand the difference, a career is long term, a job may be a paycheck to a paycheck and just getting by or sustaining you. So it's something you do temporarily and you have to be able to recognize an opportunity to transition into your dream career and whatever that is, guys. And so career, that's something you're going to do for a lifetime. That's your footprint. That's where you leave a mark in, in the earth realm, your legacy. And these are things you love to do. This is what you would do if there were no money involved and, and nobody have to coax you to get up to come do this because you're driven by the passion to do it. So we, we all know that we're in a virtual reality. The pandemic has placed us in a very precarious position. And because of the pandemic, it, we're every kind of interview. I mean, really, do you have face to face interviews right now? And so being comfortable with what is a virtual interview and how do you do a virtual interview? And there's some things that you need to leverage and understand. And so a job interview that does this leveraging of technology, if you notice the backgrounds and paying attention to all of these types of things, paying attention to the area that you're in, making sure that it's, it's soundproof or it's at least quiet enough so that you're able to do the things that you need to do. And so because of that, you want to make sure that the lighting is right and that your attire is correct and that you have a right background. And it's not a whole lot of things that are going on behind you that would preclude you from doing an interview. As a side note, please do not take an interview or conduct a virtual interview from your car, from the bus stop, um, in the bathroom, showing half of your face. Uh, without your ability, check check all of your gadgets and check everything out. Make sure everything is positioned so that when you get ready to have this virtual interview, this is just like a live interview. You don't, you have one time, your first shot to make a great impression. And so how you do in a virtual interview is paramount to the success. But another thing that you have to consider is the technology. I mean, check your Wi-Fi connection. So before your event, check your connection. Make sure everything is working properly. Is your computer software up to date? Test your microphones. Test your speaker. Test your camera. 
Um, as we were preparing for this event, um, all of our team was doing the same thing. Make sure you mute your smart speakers, your Alexa and your Google Home, because you may say a command and that will turn it on. Make sure your um, computer's charged or your cable is plugged up so that you don't have any technical difficulties during the interview because you don't want to have a mishap. And as previously stated, make sure you check your background. Look for distractions. You may have a barking dog. You may have family members running in and out. All of these things, the natural light, all of these things. And so dress for success. Even though you're doing a virtual interview, dress as though you're going face to face. Making sure that you pay close attention to the colors that you wear, the jewelry that you have. Avoid, you know, overpowering patterns. Remove any facial piercings that you may have. Monitor your body language. Even though the camera is only catching the top half of you, you want to make sure that you stay engaged and that you're presentable in the same way that you would be if this were a face-to-face -face interview. The virtual interview is no different. And so we're not sure how long we're going to be in a pandemic. I need you to be prepared to do virtual interviews. This may be your one shot in order to engage in that opportunity. And so here are some great resources um, that you can use that from Workforce Solution. So their career exploration. And so this information will be added to the Q&A so you can access it again. If you pre-registered for this event, then the information will be shared with you post the event. Again, cost of living, that's, that's your reality check. That's for you to determine, am I making enough money to sustain the, the lifestyle that I desire? So my cost of living, because there's such thing called inflation, and you need to be prepared for that. And so this uh, Texas reality check allows you to go through the process to see what it would cost for a new car. What would it cost for a house? If you want to move out of your parents' home upon graduation, what does that look like? And then parent support. And this is for you as well as for your parents to have information. And when you're looking at thinking about your career or college or training or whatever those choices are that you want to make, you need to be able to count the cost and determine, you know, what's next. And where do we go from here? And so with that being said, jobsyall.com is a great resource that you can access to look and see what they have out here um, available to you. So J-O-B-S-Y-A-L-L.com. Again, this information will be added to the Q&A and as well as any contact information. Um, and hopefully uh, Mr. Frather can put his QR code inside of the Q&A so that you can access it. And it's the Career Corner Show. And so they share all of this relevant information for you um, and provide opportunities. And you can follow them on Instagram. I know they're on Instagram and Facebook as well. And Mr. Pr that Mr. Prather's contact information will be provided so that you can move forward and, and use this as a resource because it is a resource. Remember, guys, you only get one opportunity to make a first impression. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Make this one count. And so there is still more to come. So we're at the top of the hour. This is what I'm going to ask everybody to do before we transition to our next presenter. I'm going to ask all of you that are joining me live to make sure Post the link that was placed in the chat for this event. Post it inside of your Instagram. Put it on Snapchat. Put it on Twitter. Put it, put it wherever you need it to be so that you can um, make sure that we get as many people as necessary to engage in this opportunity. So wherever you are, just take a pause break for me. Make sure you go to your social media platform. Put this on all of your social media platforms. If you're on Snapchat, if you're on Instagram, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, wherever you are, send a text message to your um, friends, to your family who are looking for an opportunity. We still have some amazing companies yet to come. And so I want to ensure that you get the opportunity that you so rightfully deserve. So go ahead on, do that for me. Log into social media sites, let everybody know. Plus the second session is getting ready to start with HISD. If you missed the companies that came earlier, you still have an opportunity. We still have some great ones that are yet to come. And I want to ensure that you have this 
information in hand. And so with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Nadia Price, and she's going to begin to share this wonderful opportunity that's available to you in the city of Houston. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so happy to be here today. Um, my name is Nadia Price, as Ms. Dana stated. Um, I am the Central Area Recruiter for TAC Communications of Houston. Um, I also oversee five other markets in the Midwest. Um, that includes uh, Nebraska, Minnesota, um, Kansas City, Missouri, um, anything in the Central Region, um, I am your go-to. So a little bit about TAC. Um, our company for quite a while. Uh, we've been around for about 16 years. We've got over 2,000 plus team members and that grows on a, on a daily basis. Um, our leadership, our executive leadership has been in the, you know, in their, in their spots for over 15 years, same leadership. Uh, we take pride in that. Uh, one thing about our company, we do pride ourselves also on providing you with great company vehicles, um, the PPE that you need to do your jobs properly, tools, any type of test gear. Um, we provide that to you free of charge. That is something that us as a company, we feel that, um, you know, you need as a great employee to be able to do a great job. So we provide you the best of the best. Um, so we do, we pride ourselves on our values. Um, the culture here at TAC, especially in Houston, um, you know, those are some things that we pride ourselves on. We have that Midwest family style structure. Um, that's how we function in the office. Um, you know, everybody speaks to everybody. We just have a great culture and a great feel in the office, which I think is very um, important. So this just shows a little timeline about TAC and how we started and where we've come uh, from where we started to where we are now. Um, TAC Houston actually came into play around the end of 2016. I have been with TAC since 2018. Um, I love this company. I've been here, you know, for these last three years. And when I tell you the culture, just the, the field, the environment, it's been great. I love meeting new faces and new technicians every day. Um, I went from doing all the hiring to now pass it off to some of our managers. Um, so that way they get a chance to really see who they're bringing on to the team. But this kind of shows you a little timeline about, you know, um, the different markets that we're in, the different companies that we partner with. Um, we are a major contractor for Comcast. Um, we strive, um, you know, to do the best that we can. We pride ourselves on our, our customer service, I'm sorry. Um, and so it just kind of shows you like how we've grown over the years. As of recently in 2019, um, since I've been with the company as well, we've uh, taken over our, one of our acquisitions in California. We've had some growth, uh, more growth in the Big South region, which that includes multiple states from Tennessee, Alabama, Oklahoma, Louisiana, um, pretty much the whole South except for Florida. Uh, we have now recently moved into the New England area. So if you start off in Houston and one day you decide, you know, hey, I just want to up and go and I, I'm, I want to look at something else and you're employed with TAC, come talk to me and we can look at possibly transferring you to another city or state. Um, this is just another little map. It just shows you all of our MSOs, some of the companies that we work with, Comcast, Xfinity, Spectrum, Midcontinent, Mediacom, Altice, and Cox. So depending on what market um, that you may land in or are interested in, um, you know, it does, we pretty much do all the same thing. So our mission here at TAC is be our, our customer's hero. Um, at the end of the day, TAC does whatever it takes to make sure that our customers are happy. We also look at our technicians and our, our staff and our team as customers as well. Uh, when I walk into the office, you know, it's a good morning to everyone. Um, I want to make everyone feel comfortable and at home. So that's one of our missions and we strive to do this every day. Um, we can go past this. 
So what does TAC expect of you? Commitment to safety. One of our big things, we do stride ourselves on our safety. We have, um, we call him our safety guy, Mr. Russ. Um, he is really big on um, your driving safety because you are an attack vehicle. You must be able to be insured. With that being said, you know, we, we, um, we always look at um, things as a good driving record. Um, be, in order to be insured by TAC, you must have a good MVR. Um, and then also taking ownership uh, for your craftsmanship. We want you to be efficient, but we also want you to be effective and we want you to do the job properly and in a professional manner. Um, provide feedback on how we can meet um, their needs. Be open and seek feedback on how you are performing. Adhere to our TAC values, which are very major, and that's something that you will see more of um, if you were to get hired. Uh, be problem solvers for people. Help people. Um, there are a lot of customers we go into their homes and sometimes it may just be a simple fitting that they need to be fixed or something really small and then up to things that are more complicated. But we want you to also have fun in this um, in this environment as well. And that's one thing we, we play hard, but we do have fun. So these are just some of our superior customer service skills. We do um, pride ourselves on world-class world customer service, um, unsurpassed technolo uh, technical knowledge, uh, operational expertise for the customer, installation and training excellence. We do pride ourselves on our training program. It is something that we have uh, perfected more so than a lot of other telecom companies. Um, your attitude and leadership is our, our attitude and leadership is beyond compare. Uh, we pride ourselves on that. Um, not only are we just, you know, a company or that you work for, we look, we're we looking at career opportunities. This is not just a job, as Ms. Dana was stating earlier. This is something where it will, you know, advance you in your career. So you start off, you know, you may not have any experience. You've never done this before. That's why we provide such an intensive training experience. So that way, when you come out of that class, you are a certified technician. And that training is paid. Um, we do pay anywhere from $10 an hour to $15 an hour for training. This just kind of shows you um, the career advancement program that we have. You start off as a residential technician, which is kind of like entry level. You're able to move up to um, either our security or our commercial team. Um, those positions do pay a little bit more, but they do come with uh, more training. Um, and in the end, as you're as a technician, you know, there's going to come a day where you're like, you know, I think I'm over being a tech. I like to be a supervisor. Um, and then if you have any other management skills, we look at all those things. Um, so there is definitely opportunity for advancement in at TAC. Um, I've hired technicians from starting off as a technician, not having any experience, and now they are actually operations managers after three years. So that's something that you definitely want to um, take a look at. It's um, a lot of companies um, don't offer the or have the promise to um, move you up in the company, and we do. So that's definitely something we look at. Okay. Um, so technician, supervisor, this is kind of going along with the last slide, um, just the opportunity to be able to move up in the company, um, you know, from an hourly employee to a salary employee. So we're a company that does provide a safe work environment, uh, developmental opportunities. Uh, we do have tons of skill sets and things that, um, you know, we train you and we do pay for that training. Uh, we do have a very fair and benefit uh, comprehensive co compensation program with our medical, dental, 401k, um, all benefits. Um, we also have uh, an employee assistance program as well. Um, yeah. An environment of respect and dignity, clear expectations, provides routine feedback. Um, we do, if we have someone that's struggling or having some issues, we pride ourselves in our coaching and just helping them come out of those things. Um, all the tools necessary to do the best job possible. Uh, team members that are committed to lift you up and dedicated to the mission. Um, you are the opportunity to be our customer's hero every day. So. This just kind of goes over some of the benefits um, of working for TAC. Um, currently, we do offer a, a loyalty bonus. That's kind of like our stay bonus. Every six months that you're employed with TAC, we give you $1,000 on top of your paycheck just to say thank you for choosing us as your employer. At your two-year mark, you actually receive $2,000 and you still get another 1,000 six months later 
3,000 in one year just saying thank you. We appreciate you for choosing us as your employer. Um, we also have referral bonuses that I talk about all the time with my technicians. Um, they come to me, hey, Miss Nadia, I got a guy. So $500 that is given out to you um, after the uh, employee that is hired on that you, or that you referred, if he has no experience, and 1000 for people that do have experience. So you'll receive that after their six months of employment. Um, that's some good cash that you can pop in on, which um, a lot of technicians do take advantage of. Um, providing you with company issued vehicles, a company gas card, company cell phone. We also give you a voucher while you're in training for brand new boots. Um, we've got our NAFA safety program um, as again, you know, the paid training, uh, the mentor training, and then you do get paid every week with TAC. Um, every Friday, direct deposit. Of course, the health and dental vision and insurance um, benefits. Um, it's just a great career advancement and um, there's tons of management opportunities in your future. So this is just a quick slide of some of our former technicians. These guys started this company. They started off as technicians just like you are um, in the future. Um, Micah, Brian, Trent, I met all of them. Um, they are currently in the Midwest, but they are they travel all over the country to be in different markets. But great guys, family oriented, um, great to be part of the team. So they started off just like you didn't have experience, started this company out the back of their pickup truck in their garage, and here we are today, um, much bigger company. So it's great to be part of their team. And then in this chair sits our most important competitive advantage, you. Our tech professional technicians and field leaders, you guys are the ones that make this company work. You're out there in the face of it. You're out there helping these customers and being the best that you can be. And so this just kind of shows how we take care of our technicians and we put you first. Um, we can pass this one. It just shows all the jobs that we've completed over the years. And again, my name is Nadia Price. I am the Central Area Recruiter for TAC Communications. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I will put my information in the timeline so that it is able to be shared, but you can call me directly, email me. Um, I'm more than happy and very willing to talk with anyone. Um, like I said, again, this is a wonderful opportunity for new fresh faces looking for a career opportunity. Um, we provide, you know, it's a full-time position with benefits and then you do have the opportunity to work overtime as well. Um, predominantly, you're going to be working five days on, two days off with one weekend day that you do have to, you are, you know, um, having to work. But um, other than that, I am so glad to be here, glad to be able to present to you today and feel free to reach out to me at any time. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Jamie Foster. I am the Human Resources Recruiter for Eagles Trace, uh, located on the west side of Houston. And I wanna give you give you all a little insight of, about what we do. A lot of people haven't heard of us. Um, Eagles Trace is managed by Erickson Living. Uh, Erickson Living has communities all across the US, as you can see on the map. Uh, we are one of two properties in Houston, or in Texas, and the Eagles Trace is the name of our Houston property. So um, as far as opportunities go, which we'll get to in a few minutes, you can see there's even more opportunities when you look across the, the U.S. as a whole. Uh, but Eagles Trace is, is a beautiful property. We are senior living, so it's a retirement community for seniors age 62 and above. And I like to compare us to um, kind of like working in a resort or like working in our own little small town. As you can see in the pictures, they're just beautiful properties, um, nicely nicely managed and, and kept up. And we have on-site restaurants, we have our own pharmacy, bank, hair and nail salons, dog parks. It's just a whole lot of opportunities um, and, and different type of work opportunities to keep these communities running. To give you a, a, just a little more insight about what it would be like to work for Eagles Trace, uh, we are the type of company that really, really depends on our values. Uh, it's not a poster that's just on a wall. It's something that we truly live. Uh, you can see we have seven values and, and this really makes up who we are. This is um, 
the type of people that that we like to hire. You know, there's a lot of positions that we have that um, you may not have all the experience in the world, but we can train you if you meet these values and um, you love helping others and, and, and caring for others, then you honestly may be a very good fit at our at our community. Um, the types of awards that we've won, like the top workplaces and best companies to work in Texas, those were all voted on by our employees. Uh, so it's just really nice to to know that you know you can come work for a company that that really values not only our residents but values our employees as well. Now, different types of positions that we would hire for. Um, as I mentioned, we have multiple restaurants, pharmacy, bank, nail salon. I mean, so if you can think about it, there's a lot that goes into keeping our community running 24 seven or around the clock to make sure we're taking care of our residents. Um, so different types of positions you may see are openings in healthcare if you're wanting to be a, a CNA, a, a medication aid, a nurse. Um, or any kind of healthcare type position. Um, we have activities, associates, um, general services positions from housekeeping, maintenance, security, um, front desk associates. Um, I mentioned the restaurants, so that includes all of the front of the house, back of the house positions from servers to cooks and dishwashers to management and bartenders. Um, and then the administrative side. So human resources like my team, our finance team, and, and so much more. There's just a ton of positions and opportunities depending on the career path that you're looking to take for yourself. And just because you start in one position doesn't mean that you may not end up in something completely different. Um, we've had our own executive director here at Eagles Trace actually started off as a server in one of our restaurants and has just kind of worked his way up through different positions in the company and, and now actually oversees this whole community. And that's just one of many success stories that we've had. Um, one position I will highlight on this call, I know there's a lot of um, students and, and families watching. Um, we do have a lot of students start off with us working while they're in high school. They'll come join us. They'll be a server in one of our restaurants and you can actually put those hours towards earning a $10,000 scholarship towards college, um, which is really big. That's actually money raised by our residents themselves that doesn't even come from the company. So it's just a really sweet thing that our residents do for our student workers. So you can take that, you can go to college or you know whatever you're looking to do to advance your career. And a lot of our students do end up coming back to work for us in their careers and fields of study um, if they don't continue working for us while they're in college. Some do that as well. So lots of opportunities um, depending on what kind of career you're looking to go into. Um, this could definitely be a place that could offer that for you. Now working here, um, I will say once you're able to get into a career with us and um, really get to see what we're all about, we also have really great great benefits. As I mentioned, this is a company that really cares about its employees. So um, aside from the standard medical, dental, vision insurance, paid paid time off and things like that, um, everyone joins with 401k. We have discount programs, um, your paid holidays. Uh, we actually do tuition reimbursement, so we'll help pay you to go to college while you're working for us. Um, and even volunteerism hours where we will pay you to go volunteer <laughs> throughout the community. Uh, so it's really just looking at total rewards for us. You know, you have your compensation, but then there's all the other things that we, we like to provide our employees in terms of their health and well-being, um, learning opportunities and, and classes and that tuition reimbursement that that we really want to help our employees grow and, and, and expand their careers and, and help them get to where they want to want to be. Uh, I know with a lot of our employees, it's, it's just it's a journey. So you start in one place and, and we want to help you get to that end goal as well. So I really hope to to hear from from a lot of you and um, I'll definitely post our information in the chat, but feel free to, to reach out if you are open to any of our opportunities here and and wanting to talk more about about what that journey could be. Al, hi. Hi, this is Al Poligna um, with Harris Health System. Um, my again, my name is Al Poligna, Program Manager of Talent Acquisition. Hello, seniors. Thank you for having me here today. Um, I'm here to talk about Harris Health System, of who we are, what we hire for, what we represent, and um, the opportunities that we currently have within our system. 
So let's get started. So who is Harris Health System? Harris Health is a fully integrated healthcare system that cares for all residents of Harris County, Texas. We are the first accredited healthcare institution in Harris, Harris County to be designated by the National Committee for Quality Assurance as a patient-centered medical home and are one of the largest systems in the country to achieve the quality standard. Our system includes 18 community health centers, five same-day clinics, five school-based clinics, three multi-specialty clinic locations, a dental center and dialysis center, and mobile health units, and two full-service hospitals. Locations. As you can see on the map, we are in various locations within the Houston area. Bentop Hospital, which is located right across from the Houston Zoo, is a level one trauma center. It has 402 licensed bed. It is staffed by physicians by the Baylor College of Medicine. Linda B. Johnson, also known as LBJ, is a level three trauma center, has 215 licensed bed, is staffed by physicians from UT Health and MD Anderson Cancer Center. And we also have the Outpatient Ambulatory Care Center that is staffed by physicians from the Baylor College of Medicine and UT Health. Career opportunities. So who do we hire? We hire, of course, nursing, allied health, support services, professional, management, IT, clerical and administrative. Our starting salary begins at $15 an hour with immediate benefits with medical, dental and vision. We do offer short-term and long-term disability, life insurance, retirement. It's never too early to start saving for the future. 401k and 457b plans. We have flexible spending accounts, a PTO bi-weekly accrual rate of eight hours that you'll be accruing, tuition reimbursement, and an RN student debt repayment program. So what that means is for those of you seniors that are pursuing and thinking about nursing, which is right now um, a very demanding job and um, a really lucrative and um, career that if you are pursuing, we at Harris Health offers our RN student debt repayment program after one year, which means Harris Health will help pay your student loan after your one year of experience as a nurse. So if you're hired within Harris Health, we will help pay your student loan um, repayment program. That is our website down below, which is jobs.harrishealth.org. And I will also add that on our chat so you can look at our various um, opportunities that we have within our organization. Social media. So I would encourage you um, to follow us. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, on Indeed. We also have a company page on D Indeed. And to join our talent community within Harris Health. So that way you can learn more about who we are our jobs, what we represent, who we serve around the Houston area, and also our events. Um, but I want to thank everyone today for allowing Harris Health to be here, and I congratulate you all, seniors, and good luck to you. Thank you. And I'll put all the information on the chat. Thank you. Hi, everyone. This is Morgan with HEB. Can you all hear me okay? You're good to go, Morgan. I will take that as a yes, good deal. All right, well, super excited to get to chat with everyone today. Um, thank you so much uh, for having HEB represented. I wanted to first start off by telling a little bit about myself, and I, I feel this is a great um, part to start off with because at HEB, um, we have a lot of different uh, careers that, that you can have, um, and, and even starting off with a job and, and growing into a career. So I have been with HEB going on 16 years uh, this April. I actually started while I was in school. So like many of you in school now, I started as a bagger, worked in multiple areas of the store, uh, was an internship uh, or was an intern for HEB um, for two summers and then moved into what we call our School of Retail Leadership, which is a training program to become a store leader was a store leader for some time and then segued into human resources uh, and, and moved into recruiting where now I'm, I'm the senior recruiter that manages all the recruitment activities for our Houston division. So all of our hundred stores here. And also for any of y'all moving on to U of H, go Cougs, I'm a Cougar graduate. Um, 
So a little enough about me, more about ATB. And so at ATB, we have over 120,000 employees that we call partners. We call our folks partners because we're in a partnership of working together to build the best retailing company. And it's because we have a level of ownership with our partners and we believe that people matter and we have a mission to make our, our people's lives better and, and really take care of the communities that we're in. Um, where you see us every day is our stores. And so we're located in Texas and Mexico. Uh, we have multiple different uh, store formats that I'll get to in a minute. Our largest store being 185,000 square feet, all the way to our smallest store in San, Ant in San Antonio, which is a convenience store at 10,000 square feet. We have multiple store formats in, um, in, within HEB, and, and all of these are represented in our Houston area. Um, so many of you have seen our HEB stores. Um, those are original and primary design. Um, and you may notice that no two stores are exactly alike, and that's because we really customize our stores to the communities that we're in. We have our HEB Plus, which is an expanded uh, version of HEB with expanded grocery and general merchandise items. We have our Central Market, which is a foodie experience. Uh, we have one in the Houston area, and um, uh, our partners there are called foodies uh, because they're really into food. We also have our Meetienda stores in Houston. We have two locations, and this is um, a, a kind of a uh, Latino central market. So Spanish is the primary language uh, spoken in the store, and this is really catered uh, to that Latino Hispanic customer um, looking for um, some of those favorite food items. Um, and so we have two locations there, and then we have a unique format called our Joby Smart Shop. We have nine stores in the Houston area, and this is where you can find uh, the lowest price, but the highest quality. Um, and we place these formats in areas that um, are food deserts. Um, and so really great opportunity um, to work at any of our formats. We also have our own manufacturing, warehousing, and transportation. And so our manufacturing, uh, most people are surprised to hear that we actually uh, make some of our own products. So our bread, our ice cream, HEB brand milk, all of those things are actually made truly by HEB. So we have manufacturing plants, two manufacturing plants in Houston. We have a chip plant where we make potato chips and tortilla chips, and then also a bread plant where we actually do all of the hamburger and hot dog buns for the entire company right here in Houston. We also have warehousing. Um, so we have multiple distribution centers that helps us to have a great supply chain to our stores. And then of course, transportation. So uh, we have great truck drivers driving our tractors and trailers uh, with over 60 million miles a year. And in addition, we have to have folks uh, in our corporate office to support all of those operations. So really anywhere or any career that you could think of, you really could achieve with HEB. So what does all this mean for you? Um, today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our opportunities uh, for starting employment. The best thing of starting for HEB is that we have a very high starting pay. Our checkers start off at $14.50 an hour. And if you're full-time, we also offer medical, dental, paid time off, 401k, um, and quite a, quite a bit more. We also have a, a discount card. And so once you work for HEB, you and someone in your family will get a discount card that you can use at our stores. We have a scholarship program. So once you've been working for us for at least one year, you're eligible to apply for our scholarship program. Um, and we also have some technical training schools that you can apply to once you are a partner as well, um, including our meat cutting school, artisan baking, cake decorating, floral design, and more. Um, in addition, as you saw, my career path going into our management and leadership training is also a great career path within our stores. 
And so the best thing you can do if you're interested in HEB is right here on our uh, slide here. Go to careers.heb.com to submit your application today. Um, even if you have applied for HEB before in the past, um, or and maybe maybe you um, had an interview or did not have an interview, you are always eligible to reapply. And we encourage you to do that and, and look often at opportunities um, on our website. If you have any other questions, you can certainly email me at fazell.morgan at heb.com. But that's all I've got. Thank you so much for having us and best wishes to all of you graduating. Okay, so let's talk about Cyrocom. Uh, Ms. Monica is not able to join us, so I am going to fill in and try to share some information um, to the best of my ability relative to um, Cyrocom. And so they're located in a few different states. So just knowing that they're in Tucson, Arizona, they're in New Mexico, obviously they're in Houston, Texas, um, and Tampa, Florida, and also Queens, New York. And they are the leading provider of language interpreting services that impact the lives of millions. So those of you who are multilingual, this is a great opportunity for you. Those with limited English proficiency, to um, they help with health care. 911 finance and more so everything about language if you're interested in language or you speak multiple languages this may be the perfect opportunity for you so what are the requirements let's take a look at that you must be bilingual you must be at least 18 years or older you must possess a high school diploma or equivalent so that means upon graduation if i have any persons on here who already graduated and you meet these requirements you're bilingual you speak more than one language you're at least 18 years of age you already have your high school diploma and you're authorized to work in the united states of america then this may be the great opportunity for you so let's talk about training for this position so what does a training entail? If you want to apply for any of the positions with this company, then there are 120, oh, 120 hours of in-person standardized classroom training. And then you also have written and oral certification tests as well as quality monitoring and coaching. So all of this information is what's provided in the training to be successful at your job. The benefits. Let's talk about benefits because everybody wants to know everything about benefits. At least you should be. If you aren't interested, that, that needs to become something that you are interested in. So they have a competitive salary. They have a generous benefit package with insurance coverage. Most There are a lot of people in America who don't have insurance. So this is something that's a benefit to you. It, it adds value to your salary range. They have overtime and merit pay and increased opportunities. Paid interpreter training. They also have opportunities for professional advancement, all of that. And they have diversity in the workplace. And so that means it begins to look like what America looks like as a whole. So the industries that they provide support for, um, health care, insurance, Financial sector, they do the health insurance. They also provide interpretation in education, uh, 911, utilities, government, and telecommunication industry. So all of these industries are partnered with this company. So the growth mechanism, Cyrocom often promotes from within, which is a great advantage to you if you get hired with this company. So you don't have as much competition from outside employers or for job seekers looking for employment. They grow from within, homegrown, and that's a great company to work for. If you have been with them for a year, they offer tuition reimbursement. I promise you that is a bonus for education to prepare you for many job positions that can be found within their organization, from interpretation to IT to business. So if any of those areas, and so it runs the gamut of things or options that are available to you. And if they are willing to pay for you to go to school, then you have another opportunity. So with that being said, I'll make sure that we add the, the contact information for um, 
Cyrocom. And if you're interested in this, you'll be able to have their information handy and go from there. So let's take a look at Group 1 Automotive. Uh, Ms. Tanika wasn't able to join, so I'm filling in for her as well. So Group 1 Automotive, um, they're actually hiring for a high school service coordinator position. And so that position is responsible for taking inbound calls to assist customers with scheduling their vehicle service. So if you, if you do own a car and you've ever taken your car in for service, then the service coordinator is the person that takes the call and makes sure it's routed to the correct place or assist the customer with scheduling a, a, a spot or a service for their vehicle. And so when I call in to get my car service, that person that's answering the phone could very well be a service coordinator who directs me in the right position, ensures that my schedule is created um, or that my time slot is selected. So what are the qualifications for this particular position? You must be 16 years of age or older. You must commit to a minimum of 20 hours per week. That's Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. Um, with one Saturday requirement a month. They pay $10 an hour with the potential to make a $650 bonus additionally every month and that you're able to start the role this month. So they're looking to hire in the month of March. That means right now, I know you have spring break coming up, but this is not the time to focus on that. You must apply on group1careers.com. So you can look inside the chat and that information will be added for you. So go to group1careers.com. And in there, you're gonna search high school service coordinator and you have to upload your resume. So remember, uh, the, uh, the career ready advisors, the CTE advisors are available. They should be at your campuses. Those of you who are in HISD, if your resume is not up to par, you can easily ask your uh, career advisor, your CTE advisor for some assistance or support to make sure you have a resume that's readily available so that you can upload it to group one careers.com and apply for the high school service coordinator position. So with this starting at the age of 16, that means some juniors can apply. So if this is something you're not interested in, share with your family members who may be a junior in high school and looking for employment um, to work, you know, in the Monday through Friday after school and on, on the weekend. So with that being said, I will turn it over to Walgreens. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hi, everyone. My name is Tamara, and I'm really happy to be here to kind of speak with you today. Uh, we're very excited to talk about the different job opportunities Walgreens has to offer and why it might be a right fit for you. Um, Kate, if you want to talk with them a little bit about uh, some of the opportunities that we have available and that they might find here at Walgreens. Okay, so I think Kate might be having some uh, difficulties getting in. So I'll just go ahead and kind of go through this. So Walgreens, we can always find jobs at Walgreens at jobs.walgreens.com. We have multiple locations. One of the great things about our business is that we are a global company. We have many opportunities here in the United States as well. And diversity is one of the biggest things that we really appreciate about our company. There's many different avenues for growth and development. And the pharmacy technician role, uh, we have healthcare customer associate roles, we have designated hitters, beauty consultants, and other customer service roles that are available. Uh, a lot of these roles in, will include uh, training and development and can lead to bigger and better opportunities for uh, people who are looking for growth in their lives and in their development. Um, it's a, here at Walgreens, we're boldly committed to creating a better world through health and wellness. We want to be the first choice for pharmacy, well-being, and beauty communities around the world. We are a global company, and we want to help people across the world lead healthier and happier lives. This is a big commitment on our part, and we do this by providing integral services to our community and through our community engagement. Walgreens is not just a retail business. 
As a potential team member, you provide valuable services to our community and play an important role in that endeavor. At Walgreens, you can be an active member in the community through multiple avenues. And just to name a few, we have our Meet a Weed program that helps funding for teachers and students in underfunded areas. We have our Vitamin Angels program and every purchase of Walgreens brand vitamins, a portion of that goes to help undernourished children and expecting mothers around the world. We also offer our Give a Shot, Get a Shot program, where every flu shot we administer every year, Walgreens will donate one free to an underserved community. And one of our favorites is our Red Nose event. And we are big supporters about this, and this is helping end child poverty. This is one of, that we get particularly excited about in our community events, and we go out and we engage and try to do fundraising so that we can really bring this issue to the forefront of our community. We also do senior outreach. These are a lot of programs that we use to eliminate the patient's barriers to care so that they can receive medications and immunization services. So we're not just a retail business. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what you're passionate about. We're a very diverse company and we have a big vision and many avenues to pursue those passions. Not only do we take care of our community, but we take care of our team. I can speak to my personal experience here at Walgreens. I started when I was 18 and I have worked my way up through almost every department within my store. And now I am actually the store manager and I manage my team with great pride and love and joy. We offer many growth development and paths for our team members, both short-term and long-term. Whether you're passionate about pharmacy or leadership, we also have great flexibility for our team members who are going to school. This is how I paid for college personally. I was able to work full-time and sometimes part-time depending on my school schedule. We pride ourselves on investing in our team members and developing talent. Some of the benefits that we offer for our company is that we are a Fortune 500 company. We do have a 4% 401k match, so if you're looking for a little bit long-term investment, um, we also have medical and dental and vision, which we start out after 90 days with company employment. And as far as full-time goes, ours is considered at 32 hours a week. So you don't have to work a full 40 hours in order to receive benefits. We also have employee discounts, which is 25% off of our brand products and 15% off of other brands, discounted products through our perk spot, we also have tuition reimbursement for our pharmacy school students. So if you're thinking about becoming a pharmacist one day and you're not really sure how to get your foot in the door, it's a great opportunity to start with our company and we will actually pay for you to become a pharmacy technician. And if you're wanting to go to pharmacy school, we'll help you pay for pharmacy school. Uh, we also have paternity leave for both him and her. So if you're really looking to be engaged with our company for the long haul, there's a lot of opportunities for growth and development. The great thing about working is that you can get a lot of exposure to a lot of different avenues, even if you're not sure what you're passionate about. We have a beauty department, we have photo specialists, we have pharmacy technicians, we have leadership roles, and we have pharmacists. All of these roles lead to increased skills and communication and teamwork. So there's a lot of great opportunities for everybody who wants to grow and learn and maybe not quite sure where they want to go in life. And that's all I have. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, um, Tamira and Kate from Walgreens. So I'm going to wrap us up with the last two companies that I want to highlight. Um, and so I want to make sure if you're in the Q&A, ask the questions, look at the information, capture what you need to capture. So this, I'm going to highlight the Houston Police Department and the positions that they have opening. So I'm looking at all of my um, students that go to uh, law, law and justice. And, and so any of you that are maybe even interested in becoming a police officer. So let me share a little bit about the department and what that looks like for them. And then we'll go into an over, a quick overview of the position that they're hiring for. So just understanding that HPD is actually the fifth largest agency in the nation. So Houston is a very diverse city and so we have a, a large um, police department and so HPD actually sets the bar where they have over 5,200 officers, officers and 1,200 1, civilian employees and so that's a big company and they serve well over 2 million residents within the city of Houston so you would become part of a family what they call the 
the, the men in blue or the women in blue. And so that that becomes its own community. They have over 45 divisions and they offer lateral promotion. So that means I'm going crossways. I'm not going upways, but I do have lateral movement that I can increase my knowledge base and my experience. And those promotional opportunities range in a very diverse division, anything from homicide to bomb squad. So depending on what enjoy about it if you want to do SWAT or you want to do financial crimes maybe you want to do bike patrol or you like animals so you want to do canine they have motorcycle detail maybe you want to catch the youth early on so you want to work in juvenile or missing persons or anything within that area or even narcotics so those are the specialized units that they have So let's look at the police officer. So the Houston Police Department is actually hiring qualified officer candidates for their upcoming academy classes. So they have right at 300 plus openings and the starting salary is 42,000 upwards. So depending on some different dynamics, um, you can receive a competitive salary. Um, they have a regular salary increase with city subsidized insurance. They have 11 paid holidays with an additional 41 to 61 paid days off per year. They offer tuition reimbursement and they also have a retirement plan and a pension plan with early retirement options. You don't have to have any prior law enforcement or police officer license required to apply for this position. If you do receive um, an, op an opportunity to work with them, you will attend their six month paid police academy. So they have a paid police academy and you'll receive specialized training for some of the finest officers in law enforcement. And for those of you who have full time experience as a licensed peace officer, your salary may be based on your years of law enforcement experience. So if you do by chance have some experience, then that may change the dynamics of what your salary would look like. So you can apply today and be a part of HPD family in as little as four months. That's right, four months. All you have to do is go to hpdcareer.com for more information. Again, if you're ready to apply and you're saying, Dana, listen, I love service. I've always wanted to be a police officer. I always wanted to work for um, HPD or be in law enforcement. Then this is your opportunity. Go to hpdcareer.com dot com for more information and so they have a cadet probationary officer that's who makes the 42,000 then the police officer the range jumps up that means once you finish the six month training the police officer salary starts at 58,000 upwards to 72,000 and then you have a senior police officer so that's when you get some years under your belt your salary changes to 81,000 um, upwards of 92,000 in addition to these, these are base salary. That means that's the floor, that's the base of it. In addition to these base salaries, they also have incentive pay. So they pay you um, if you go and get a degree. They pay you for a bachelor's, a master's, as well as a doctorate degree. They pay you for equipment allowance. They pay you for shift pay. I mean, and if you want to work a different shift, maybe you work the shift that nobody wants to work. They have a shift differential pay. They have weekend pay, um, training pay, and bilingual pay. So all of this can be found at hpdcareer.com. So take them up on this offer if this is something that you're interested in. So next I'm gonna fill in for Mr. George Hernandez from International Cooling Tower. So I'm gonna share a little bit about ICT. And so they are actually a niche employer and they look for carpenter craft or trade skills, typically in construction, um, cooling towers, they deal with refineries, chemical plants and power plants. So this is their main go to or the main area that they deal with. So if that's something you're into working with your hands, um, if you you're in want to work in a refinery or a chemical or a power plant or, or you're in a trade, industrial, any of our um, pathways that deal with trade and construction, any of those areas, this, this may be an opportunity for you. And so here are some of what they are, when they're talking about the laborers who are willing to work, that's, that's important to them, laborers that are willing to work um, with towers. And you can't be afraid, guys, of heights of 60 feet or more, and you must have a strong work ethic. Why? Because it's going to determine the level of promotion that comes with it. So if you 
you need a TWIC card, but they also have an opportunity that if you don't have your TWIC card, the information for the TWIC card is on the presentation. We'll add it to the chat as well. So they're hiring for carpenter craft trade. They, their shift work is a seven, um, 12 hour day. And so right now, because they're that busy, since the storm hit us, they are swamped. And so some of the, when we're talking about their company, some of the companies that they deal with are your Exxon Mobiles and your Shell and all of the big oil companies that are here in the city of Houston. But you must pair, pass a background check and you must pass a drug. Um, um, they'll do a drug testing. So they'll do a hair follicle sample. So making sure you know that. And for some of the positions, you should have, you must have your own tools, but they also offer tools. So just keeping all of that in mind and taking a look at what they have. And so the flyer that's here, we'll share that information that's on it. And it just kind of goes into the information that I just kind of shared with you, the application process. Um, I'll make sure that you have Mr. Hernandez's number if you are interested in this position or working with uh, working with cooling towers or anything with ICT, then you should definitely contact him immediately. I know he is doing hiring today. That's why he was not able to be with us. He has 300 positions that he needs to fill between now and Monday, if at all possible. So if this is something that you're looking for, if it's not for you at the moment, maybe it's for somebody else in your family. So I know that you would have to go out to LaPorte, Texas. So that's, I want you to keep that in mind. If, if you're looking at this position, transportation is a must in order to compete for this particular position. So Mr. George Hernandez, all of his information is going to be dropped directly into the Q&A, into your chat. And so you can contact him for more specificities to determine um, what's the next phase. If you're not prepared to move forward with him right now, can you just put an application in looking at it post-graduation? Or if you are prepared right now and you're ready to move forward, then I'm sure he's looking forward to having you. And so with that being said, we are going to wrap up some information. Um, I, I know Mr. Prather was trying to be with us and we were going to do a quick run through again, just to touch base to make sure I put this on your mind. And so I'm going to share some information again. Workforce Solutions, this is a great resource. If you have not connected with them, please do so. Some tidbits to remember. Remember, we are in a virtual reality. So when I'm talking about a job versus a career, making sure you understand the difference. What you've heard today was a mixture. Some of these can be jobs that eventually turn into careers. Maybe you like agriculture, so HEB may be the perfect fit, and but you want to climb the ladder in HEB, so it can easily switch from a job to a career. It's something you see yourself doing for the rest of your life. But also, I want you to remember, this is a virtual reality that we're living in right now. And so being mindful of virtual interviews is paramount. Making sure you pay attention to your camera, that you're able to have your camera on. That's why your teachers are constantly saying, turn your camera on. Why? Because they want you to get comfortable with being on the camera, not doing everything else around the house, being stationary when it's time for your interview, making sure that you pay attention to the technology because that becomes a big issue. We, we see that all the time with people. Test your technology. I can't say that enough. Test your technology because you don't want it to come down to the day of the event, the day of your interview, the time that it's, you're slated to be in an interview and your Wi-Fi is not connected or your computer software is not up to date. You didn't test your microphone, so now you don't have a microphone and you have to lean in in order to do your interview. Your camera isn't working. Your speakers don't work. And so then when you do try to talk, your Alexa goes off or your Google Home or whatever you have, or you simply forgot to charge the computer and you left the char charging cord somewhere else. Pay attention to your background. Pay attention to the distractions. Maybe your siblings are home or you have other people in the house or if you have animals. Pay attention to the natural lighting and how that comes in. All of this is in important when you get ready to do a virtual interview because if you're applying with any of the companies that are, were spotlighted today you're going to be doing a virtual interview hear me clearly you're going to be conducting a virtual interview your resume is only one piece of it if your resume is good enough to get you to the interview then you have to shine at the interview so paying attention to what you wear dress for success 
Even though this is in a virtual space, you need to dress as though this were face to face. Pay attention to your colors. Avoid, avoid being too flashy. Remove facial piercings and make sure you monitor your body language. Pace yourself. And here's some resources. I know this was shared already in the chat, but we'll share it again to make sure you understand career exploration. You know, take a look at the career options that are available to you and, and determine what where do I want to go? Where do I see myself in three years? Where do I see myself in five years? I need you to understand the cost of living and all of those things. But, you know, do your reality check. And so if you're interested in jobs, here's the website, jobsyall.com, J-O-B-S-Y-A-L-L dot com. You can provide that information is in the chat. Um, we'll put it again just in case you miss it. So you can stay plugged into Workforce Solutions and everything they have going on. And then they have the Career Corner Show. And, and so Mr. Prather is, you know, very much into making sure he exposes you to all of the careers. He and his team, um, um, Ms. Aurelia Johnson, I mean, Ms. Aurelia Johnson and Ms. Aurelia, I mean, Ms. Aurelia Washington, I'm sorry, and Aurelia Johnson, making sure that they provide opportunities that you may not know even exist or at least exposing you to different things. So make sure you stay connected. You can plug in with them on Instagram uh, and I think Facebook as well and every other media outlet that they have. And so with that being said, remember, 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 you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So make it the best impression that you're going to have. So on behalf of Houston Independence, Career Readiness Department. I want to thank each of you for joining us today. It has been our pleasure sharing information. So we will stay on the remaining five minutes um, and just drop information into the chat. If you have any questions whatsoever, please put it in the chat. We are manning the chat right now. We'll address any questions that you have. We're going to make sure we put all of the information that we have inside of the chat if you missed anything. Those of you who pre-registered and are in attendance for this event, you will get my slide deck sometime later today or first thing tomorrow. But if you pre-registered and didn't join us, you're going to have to email me and we're going to have a conversation first before I give you my slide deck. But I'm going to put my, my email here in the event that you're joining. And maybe you didn't pre-register for whatever reason, but you're interested, but you are present and you're interested in um, making sure you connect or you get my, my slide deck. I just dropped my email address inside of the chat so you can grab it. And this is my name, so you'll know who I am. I am one, I am one of the senior managers here. I am over um, special projects. So this is considered a special project. So we do have a survey as well. I want to make sure before you leave or before you exit, please, please, please complete the survey for me. The survey is necessary. Why? because it allows us to be able to determine, did we meet your needs? Was this successful? Was this anything that was beneficial for you? If it was not beneficial, then tell me, be very honest and very candid. Why? Because Ms. Carmouche takes this information, I take this data, and that helps me to determine what kind of events we need to be hosting for our department, because we wanna make sure it's beneficial for you. This, you are the end user. You are the reason why we're here every day. You are the reason why we show up continuously. So with that being said, we want to know, please, please, please take time to fill out the survey. It's only four or five questions I'm asking. Be as candid, as honest, as open as possible so that when we go back to the, when we debrief, and we determine how effective was this? What can we do differently next time? What are some of the things the students are looking for? Let me know even if, you're saying, Ms. Carmouche, I wasn't ready this time. I know it's March, but I graduated in May. Could y'all possibly have another event in May and, or in June? Let me know that. Tell me those types of things. Tell me the industries you're looking at, what avenue you want to go in. Share all of that information with us in this survey, and I'll be sure to take all of that into consideration. And when the planning team meets, we'll have that discussion. If it's something we can pull off, you can rest assured I'll take care of it and make sure that I bring all the players to the table. But I want you to make sure, guys, that you take advantage of all of the information that was shared today. There were some great opportunities that were shared, great, amazing opportunities presented to each one of you. 
And all we can do here in the career readiness department is bring it to your attention, show you where the opportunity is. We can't guarantee a position and we can't make you do anything post that. But we do have some amazing advisors that come out to your campuses. They can help you with your resume if you're struggling with your resume. And if some of you guys are on and you want to put your information in the chat to the advisors, please feel free to do that so they can make contact with you. So the CTE advisors are here to provide those kind of services or support where needed. You also have the services support from Workforce Solutions who provide, provide those services as well. So Mr. Prather will put his information in. And again, we're here uh, for about one more minute. And if you have a question, go ahead and ask. So with that, we want to thank each of you again for joining us today. On behalf of Mr. Michael Love and Ms. Julietta Mara and all of the Career Readiness Department, we thank you for joining us for our annual Seniors to Success 2.0 virtual hiring event. And we could not do this without you. Please, please, please make sure, make sure, make sure that you do the survey for me. Grab the information that's in the chats, whatever you're looking for, it's available to you. And with that being said, we bid you a good day. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you for taking two hours out of your schedule to join us today.